Hello my loves and welcome to Angels and Magpies Tarot. Today we are going to have a collective reading, collective love reading I should say. Uh, I was really drawn to do one of those uh, regardless of the zodiac sign uh, even though for sure some of them will pop up. It is going to be a timeless reading so it's for whenever you feel drawn open it or you feel drawn to the title. And everything you need to know about this reading will be in the description box below. We will have it in uh, person A, person B format. I will not say this is you, this is your person. Uh, if you recognize yourself in one of the in one of the sides, so probably the other side is your counterpart. Uh, if you will find yourself um, resonating with both sides. This is probably signifying that in this connection, two people are closely mirroring one another. So, uh, yeah. Let's start first with the Twin Tarot Oracle to get the general energies for two people present here. Let's see. So, for the person A, we have the transformation, the light card. I should say that in this deck, uh, this is a deck of a major arcana cards, but each card has two sides, the dark side and the light side. So as some of you maybe already know, this is number 13, the death card in traditional tarot, which is telling us that here is scorpionic energy present. And let's get the card for the person B. And we have the light attribute of the sun. So both of the energies uh, are feeling very, very light to me. Uh, even though uh, one of them are very, one of them is very transformative. Uh, obviously, we have Leo here present and Scorpio, and let's get one more card for the for the connection here from the same deck, and then we will get some clarifiers from the Silver Witchcraft Tarot. So, for the connection between these two people, we have. Let's see. Oh, interesting. We have the dark attribute of the sun. Right, so let's get some clarifiers here for how these two people are feeling, thinking about each other, what their intentions are towards each other and this connection. Oh, that's too many cards. Okay, so for the transformation person, what they are thinking, feeling, what their intentions are. We have the three of swords for what they are thinking. We have the ace of swords for how they feel. And we have the queen of wands. I hope you can see this card for their intentions with regards to this connection. Let me move this sun card a little bit so that you can yeah, see the cards probably better. And for the sun person, what are they thinking, feeling? What is in their intention with regards to this connection? Let's see. We have the world for their thoughts. We have the five of swords for their feelings. And we have the ten of wands for their intentions with regards to this connection. It's interesting at the bottom of the deck here we also have death card. Number 13 again, so some more Scorpio energy, uh, right? Which is telling me that uh, it's a huge, actually, transformation going on. 
here and uh, and actually yes that's what uh, that what comes up here because uh, let's start with the description of the people here the transformation person I feel like uh, this person is uh, more into spirituality than than the sun person it feels to me for sure it feels to me like they have been already through at least one dark night of the soul at least one of them because the transformation card is telling me that this person have been through a lot of uh, changes a lot of very very deep transformation a lot of uh, skin shedding a lot of um, cutting cords, a lot of uh, changing habits, a lot of things uh, probably in the <clears throat> in the past maybe year or two, uh, right? And I feel like this person keeps moving, right? You see the phoenix here and you see the figure here moving towards the light. It feels to me like the person here, the, the transformation person, uh, is someone who've been through who've been burned and then resurrected themselves, right? And then risen like a phoenix from the ashes of their past, right? And it feels to me like if this is you, uh, you, if you, if you resonate with this person, it feels to me like you are not stopping here because many people, when they, uh, when they go through the dark night of the soul when they start their ascension process at some point they feel uh, that they are healed enough already and sometimes it's um, it makes them stop on their tracks right but not for you if you resonate with the person with the transformation person i feel like uh, you are you keep moving you keep you keep walking you understand that there is more to know that there is still a place to grow that there is more to see that there is more to life than even what you see now right so i feel like this person have made a lot of discoveries recently or in their recent past and um the the main the main theme here is moving forward still they are not afraid of their transformation, they are not afraid to change, they are not afraid maybe to change places even, they are not afraid to change their occupations, maybe even right now they are thinking about like another drastic change for their life, right? As for the sun person here, we see the Traditionally, in the, in the traditional tarot, you will you will see one child on this card, but here it's uh, it's two children and they're very happy and they're playing and they're on, on the back of this horse and it feels to me like uh, this this person here, the sun person, they definitely recognize this connection and they do have a lot of feelings, um, very pure, very maybe even childlike feelings towards the transformation person. I don't feel like they are as deep or I don't feel like they are as maybe mm, I don't feel like they've been through the same difficult experiences. This person could probably come from from quite um a pleasant background, I want to say. This person uh maybe is not facing as many obstacles in their life. Uh, they are just, I feel like they are just, uh, they are just a very open, a very happy person. Uh, but for some reason, I feel like maybe not, um, not necessarily very deep. And this is why, look, the, the, the dark attribute of the sun here for the connected energies is telling me that it is about two people who are actually destined to be happy together, but they are right now at this very moment they can't find they can't find a way to be together and to be happy together. I hope this is making sense right uh, I feel like maybe the sun person is a little bit I don't want to say intimidated but maybe they can't really understand sometimes where the transformation person comes from they feel like the transformation person is too deep for them uh, they feel like this person is too too complicated I want to say 
right? Uh, because we see here that uh, in the in the mind, in, in the thoughts of the transformation person, we see the three of swords um, with regards to this to this connection. And in the mind of the sun person, we see the world, which is telling me that probably I feel like for the most part this uh, this connection. Uh, both people here perceive this connection as being done and over with, actually. Even though... Even though with the, with the sun, even when the sun is in reverse, or even, even when the sun is in, the, in its dark attribute for the connected energies, I feel like there is still happiness that each one of them feels when they think about the other person. There is still this this recognition of of the possibility of happily ever after actually here because the sun is the is the ultimate happiness in the in the tarot right it's the energy of um, of this blue sky without one cloud of this uh, dreams come true right of this illumination of everything good and everything clear and pure and growth and fun and all possible ways uh, of happiness here. But I feel like at some point... I want to say that uh, the sun person here, I feel like they probably... I would say that they walked away from this connection, right? I feel like they walked away from this connection and it broke the the heart of the transformation person to the point when 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 the transformation person probably felt burned down to ashes and had to um, had to recollect themselves somehow once again, which I feel was uh, a good experience in the end, and I feel like this ending that was um, maybe provoked by the sun person here was actually quite, quite destined. It had to happen. It had to happen, and maybe even the transformation person realizes this. Uh, the thing is that I'm not sure that the sun person is realizing this, because I feel like yes, they they were the one who probably suggested that this connection is not for them. Right. I feel like they were the one who turned their back to this connection. But the thing is that it did not bring them the result they were expecting to have. Right? It brought no one the result they were expected to have because I feel like the transformation person, they were expected to be totally heartbroken, but it feels to me like it was for them a chance to to even better themselves, which they did. Obviously, I can see this, right? And um, as for the sun person, they probably thought that they could walk away very easily from this, but with the five of swords being... Look, first of all, it's it's very interesting that in the in the place of of the of the feeling the position of the feeling we have the swords cards here right we have the swords card uh for the for the transformation person we have the ace of swords and for the sun person we have the five of swords which makes me think that actually the the sun person are not so sure about this decision not anymore i'm not I, i'm I don't even know if they were sure when they were making this decision to go away, right? Uh, but now, now definitely they are not sure. And um, with the Five of Swords, I would say that this person would like to actually get back together with the transformation person. And um, I'm not sure transformation person is up to this at this very moment, at least, right? But I feel like the Sun person... Is, is really wishing they could do something, get back with the, to, to where it started somehow. But the, the thing is that um, for some reason right now they are not ready to come clear with that. They, I don't feel like this person is in a state of mind 
where they can honestly admit their mistake, for example. Whereas the transformation person actually has a very clear mind about this connection. They have a very clear mind about this connection. And the thing is that I do not see that they want to end this either. They do not want this to end. But what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing that the sun person is actually building plans to come back, building plans to bring this back. But these plans are a little bit, I would say, more to the side of strategic, manipulative, a little bit of the energy. I don't want to be negative here. I don't feel like it's a negative person. I feel like it's probably the way they... Hmm, they are conditioned or got used to operate, right? So how how can I twist things like for the transformation person to come back to me or for the transformation person to maybe accept me back, whatever the case might be, right? And it's really making life a lot harder for them because uh, I feel like the transformation person is actually a very clear-minded person at this point and... I feel like at this point the transformation person is actually putting their own growth and their own development and their spirituality and themselves uh, first, for once, right? I feel like because you see this figure moving to the light very eagerly and accompanied by a, a magical bird here and they discover the whole world here, the whole different world right, after this uh, dark night of the soul they've been through, and I don't feel like they're blaming the sun person for it, with the, with the ace of swords, with the utmost clarity they do understand where the sun person comes from, but um, I would say that in the intentions here, I see the queen of wands on the transformation person side, and the ten of uh, ones on the sun person side, and I want to say that the sun person here is moving towards this ten of ones energy completely. I don't want. I don't want to say that they know what what where they are going. I feel like they are moving towards the energy of being overwhelmed by their own decision, and they are yet unaware, because with this uh, with this strategic a bit of manipulative way of trying to bring this connection together. Like, if you resonate with the transformation person, you could you could be getting some, I don't know, little messages or some kind of signs from the sun person side that they, that they want to talk to you, they want to, to know how you've been and, and all of that, but it's not direct. And I feel like for the transformation person, this is not something they will be interested to accept at this point, even though they are very interested in this connection, but they need the sun person to come clear. This is how it feels to me. And I do not know, I do not know uh, if this, uh, if this connection has a potential, it, it, like, no, look, let me take it back. I I feel I feel I can see it with the with the sun even even the dark attribute of sun is telling us that this con this connection has a potential to be happy to be very happy right by how I don't know that I don't know that because I see that with the queen of wands I see that the transformation person wouldn't mind an honest and open communication and honest and open um, moving forward towards each other, but I don't feel like they will accept this five of sword um, ways, right? They will not accept um, the sun person like trying to come from behind, like. And I don't even feel like the sun person is being malicious here. I feel like they are just maybe not mature enough to come forward clearly and to to accept their own mistakes and what not, right? But with the Ten of Wands, I do see that the Sun person will keep going, uh, will keep moving towards this connection and it's not going to be easy for this person and maybe this is because it's time for this person to learn something here, right? Um, I don't see... I don't see these two people being on the same page very soon 
right? But uh, if you resonate with the transformation person and you are wondering um, how the sound person is doing or what is this little communications you are getting from them, well, yes, probably this is a confirmation for you. This is what's going on because uh, I feel like the the sun person they they really you see how these figures are moving actually towards the transformation person because this is how they move in their life it it's it was never it's it was never ended for them for the sun person no it wasn't funnily so for the signs here we have definitely Scorpio we have Leo uh, we have. Uh, the fixed signs, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, once again, a lot of fixed energy, actually. I feel like both of these people could be quite stubborn here. So let me get uh, their advice for my collective with regards to this relationship. For those who resonated with the reading, let's get an advice from the source. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Four of Cups, and we have the Strength. So I feel like the advice here is actually quite clear, more Leo energy. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Hanged Man, Pisces energy also. So I feel like the advice here for my collective, for whoever is resonating with this reading, is to actually... And I feel that, that, to be completely honest, I feel that the transformation person is uh, is watching this reading now. And uh, the advice for you is to actually just keep doing what you're doing, right? Because the, the Queen of Swords and the Four of uh, Cups is telling me that, well, it is the time for you to actually ignore and hold back. Uh, a little bit from this connection and let it develop as it as it will without your participation here and this will be the best and this will probably with the hangman here will be the best way for the for your counterpart for the other person to to have a different perspective on on this connection on the relationship on on life maybe in general because we have a lot of major arcana here i feel like this person is on the verge of understanding something new, right? And maybe, maybe it will even give them enough opportunity to be on the same page with the with the transformation person. Because I feel like the difference in the emotional depth and uh, in the spiritual growth is actually huge between these two people. Even though, even though I do see them really very tightly connected to one another and I do see that the happiness of these two people is one same thing. So for the for the whoever is watching here please don't um, don't feel like like you have to do something about it like you have to don't also feel like you have to teach this person something or or like you have to save them or like you have to, you know, explain to them, no, they will probably be absolutely able to have their own experiences, and I do see them moving towards you, and probably this is the part of that experience that they have to have in order for this connection to come together in a very beautiful way. So, uh, yes, this is what I have for you, my beautiful collective. I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I hope to see you again. Bye!